So welcome to Community Medicine uh, MCQ Challenge. With the exams just coming up, let's try to discuss a few MCQs, okay? Every day we'll try to put out one or two MCQs for you to revise the topic as well. So the question here says the difference between descriptive and analytical studies. Descriptive studies are used to test a hypothesis. Analytical studies are used to formulate a hypothesis. Descriptive studies are the first phase in epidemiology. Analytical studies observe distribution of disease and descriptive studies answer why and how. So what do you think is the most appropriate statement? So before we go to discuss this, I will tell you a classification of epidemiological study designs. Okay, epidemiological study designs. Now we just have to revise this one classification. It is divided into observational and interventional okay observational and interventional interventional is also known as an um, experimental all right now whenever someone some some let's imagine a new teacher comes to your class you always observe the teacher first okay how is she who is she how is he and then only you start asking questions similarly first is observational then interventional or analytical in observational it is first descriptive and then it is analytical okay descriptive we describe a disease in terms of time place and person and when we talk about analytical we answer why the disease occurred and how the disease occurred okay so these are all observational example of descriptive study designers this can also come as an mcq case report and case series an example of analytical study design is uh, cohort study all right case control study cross-sectional study and cross-sectional and ecological study design these are all analytical study designs and when we talk about interventional it is randomized control trial it is field trial and it is also community trial. Randomized control trials are phase 3 of drug trials, clinical trials. Okay, so we are doing an intervention. Group of patients are getting a new drug and the others are not. Field trial is vaccine trial. A group of healthy individuals are getting the vaccine and the other group is not getting. Community trials are preventive trials. So the real question is why are these study designs being done? So, descriptive study design always helps us formulate a hypothesis. Formulate means whenever a new disease happens, nothing is known about the disease. It's a new occurrence. So, we are first going to describe it. Like when COVID happened in 2019, we didn't know it was COVID. We were calling it as pneumonia of unknown origin. So, it was first described that there's a certain disease which is occurring during winter months in Wuhan, China, affecting the people, the male population working in the bird market. Okay, so that is descriptive. Analytical hypothesis means you have to, uh, analytical study design means you have to test the hypothesis. So whenever you're doing an analysis, you have to compare. Okay, so like when people who suffered from COVID and who did not, we started comparing them in the form of case control. And interventional or experimental is we have to confirm a hypothesis. So from this MCQ, I want you to remember that to formulate a hypothesis, you have descriptive. To test a hypothesis, you have analytical. And to confirm a hypothesis, you have interventional or experimental. Okay? So let us look at the question. Descriptive studies are used to test a hypothesis? No, they are used to formulate a hypothesis. Analytical studies are used to formulate? No. Analytical studies are used to test. Descriptive studies are the first phase in epidemiology? Yes. You describe a disease in terms of time, place and person. So that's the first thing that we do. Analytical studies observe distribution? No. Again, that is wrong. Distribution is in terms of time, place and person. Analytical study tell us why and how a disease occurred. Okay. Distribution word Amesha Adrakna is the descriptive. Descriptive studies answer why and how? Wrong. Descriptive study tells us about distribution. So the correct answer over here is descriptive studies are first phase in epidemiology. And also remember what is the definition of hypothesis. Hypothesis is actually an assumption, okay, which is yet to be verified. Okay. 
So that was one MCQ for the day. Thank you so much for attending. Keep revising. Keep studying. Take care.